Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Sam and Max hit the road. It's one of the best games of all time. It's got colorful graphics, off-kilter angles that harken back to German expressionism, and a warped sense of humor that makes your parents wonder if they really should be letting you play this. If you haven't played this 1993 classic, stop this video right now and go buy yourself a legal copy. These are the top 10 funniest moments of the original Sam and Max. Number 10, the intro and credit sequence. Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage! It's not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. From the marginally volatile hostage situation, to the improvised MIDI bebop soundtrack, to the increasingly confusing slideshow of images, Sam and Max's intro is one of the best. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Number 9. The Fisherman at World of Fish. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. For the youngsters in the audience, the game is referencing Woody Allen. If you didn't get this joke, go do yourself a favor and watch Love and Death. After all, you know, there are worse things in life than death. I mean, if you've, if you've ever spent an evening with an insurance salesman, you, you know exactly what I mean. So, how are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. Number eight. You know, Max, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. This game pulls no punches as it takes the famous Orwellian presage about the fragility of life and the threat that man poses to nature and openly mocks it in the game's nihilistic ending. Number seven. Apparently, Bigfoots have a slightly different take on the obscure hymn, Savior Breathe an Evening Blessing. Though the night be dark and dreary, though the way be long and weary, morn shall bring thee light and cheer. Child, look up, the dawn is near. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. I'll miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Number six. Trying to bribe your way into the carnival. Let us in, holy old breath. Nope. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. I don't suppose you'd accept this generous bribe. Not on your life, Fuzzy. What's this country coming to when U.S. currency can't even bribe a downtrodden circus freak? I blame television. Most players might have missed this one, since they probably went back to the office a couple times before realizing the money was in the mouse hole. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. Number five. Conroy Bumpus's musical number about his menagerie of enslaved animals. The king of country, Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus.
I hate floor shows. I remember my childhood in Brighton When dear old dad would bounce me on his knee He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting As exposing beasts to inhumanity That's why I Happy to be king of the creatures I'm proud to be the lord of the old I love collecting things with grotesque features It makes me feel like some Chaldean god Like the rest of the soundtrack, this country western tune freaking slaps. It gets even better when the animals on the wall start singing along. Western Star. Thank you, thank you. Number four, accepting the contract. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? This one's funny because the Quran is known for being very lengthy. And it does kind of sound like it could be the name of a Godzilla monster. Number three. Doug and Shavul, the mole men, are both polar opposites. One is a candy-eating couch potato, and the other is a hippie health freak. Wait, man. Bruno's in trouble. It's like several voices screaming out in terror, and then suddenly silenced. Did you get that reference? I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Number two. We don't go upstairs. Not since the accident. Out of all the hijinks and wanton destruction involved in Sam and Max's line of work, there's still one thing they don't talk about. What happened upstairs? What was the accident? We may never know. Before I get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, I smell beef fritters. Beef fritters? We dip the cows right here in the kitchen. Hey, look! That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Percent sign, hammer sand, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon too. What are you in the doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Number one, the wishing well. The wishing well. I wish I had absolute power to decide who lives and who dies. I think we'd need a bigger well. I wish this game were over. Hold it. Get back here. We're dealing with a very literal well here. That was the top 10 funniest moments of Sam and Max Hit the Road. Thanks for watching Watch Mode, I mean Wet Badger. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe element, ring that bell-shaped scalable vector graphic. Did I miss the funniest moment in the game? Leave a polite comment explaining why I'm wrong. That's all for now.